Amen. Glory to God. Make Amen. sure you play this on your website. Amen. Tony Harvard. Make sure you play this. And to all the ministering brethren throughout the entire world, uh, we thank God for each and every one. Certainly for those here in Philadelphia at this time that have gathered for this, the uh, conclusion, I do believe, of our Youth Recharge Weekend, a weekend designed to recharge the young people. We thank God for that. Uh, we certainly want to just remind the viewers and listeners that you're still watching the Worldwide Truth of God radio and television program. Uh, our headquarters church is still right here in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, yeah. as you know, 5105 North 5th Street and at the intersection of North 5th Street and Lindley Avenue in Philadelphia right here. Pastor Jen is our leader, teacher, guide, and he's our general overseer. Uh, there's no need for me to remind you that this program is directed and authorized by God himself. Oh, yes. It certainly is. It certainly is uh, that which is needed at this point in time of the history of the world because the word of God is going to be preached and published everywhere. And then Jesus said, the end will come. Is that right? We want you to sit attentively right now to listen carefully to our leader as he goes into the word of God to carefully explain things from the scriptures that are needful for the saving of the soul of mankind. Here now is our leader, teacher, guide, and he's the messenger of the almighty God, the apostle, Pastor Gino Jenkins. Greetings, brothers and sisters. As always, we bear witness that there's one true living God. He have no rivals, he have no partners, he have no associates, and he has no equals. God is perfect in everything he says and everything he does. Let us remember there is absolutely, positively, no flaws in him. That's true. No errors, no mistakes. When God says something, it's unchallenged successfully. Nobody can successfully challenge anything God says. You can try it, but you will fail. You can get the best mind but nobody mind is better than God. God mind is so good, he made a recommendation through the apostle. Let this mind be in you that was also in Christ Jesus, who being in the form of God, God form was God image. God image was God shape, and God shape was God fashion, and God fashion was God son. God son was the mediator between God and man. The man, Christ Jesus. Well, we are glad to be here, and first time I've seen some of you since we've been back in this old wicked country. I thank God for all the ministers that are present and all the mothers and brothers and sisters and down to the children. Yeah. The children are the future of the church. They are the one that the scripture says are afar off. Yeah. Even as many as the Lord our God shall go. To all of the Truth of God family that is watching internationally, we greet all of you also in the name of the Lord Jesus. We are glad to come back in your country, your island, your home, your place of business, uh -huh. wherever you are. This program God designed to wake the people up. I can say that without a shadow of a doubt. God designed this program to shake the conscience of men, 
Now you have the privilege of hearing it and obeying it if you choose to. And you also have the privilege of hearing it and ignoring it if you choose to. The choice is yours. Until the scripture says, choose ye this day whom you're going to serve. If God be God, serve him. If Baal or Satan be God, you serve him. I have made the right choice years ago. And I don't regret it either. For oh, there's no one and nothing you can ever choose that's better than God. Absolutely not. Now, I want to remind everybody that the closing year conference is coming up. To all of my viewers, I hope you make plans. We will be back in Greensboro, North Carolina. You make plans to be there. All of you, tell your pastor to come. Bring his congregation. God willing, I done had a, an extensive business meeting with all of my contractors that's working in the main auditorium and after service, if you want to go in the main auditorium and look, it looks beautiful. Wonderful. Wonderful. I mean, it looks Wonderful. beautiful. Everybody should be interested. Oh, yeah. And that which pertain to God. Oh, yeah. You get a chance to stop and the new lights are in. You can read your Bible. Nice. You'll be able to follow us in the Bible. And soon the painting will stop. Then the carpet will be laid. Wonderful. Then the pews that we took out of the auditorium that we have in the gymnasium will be brought back bolted to the floor, and then the carpet just where the pews are will be placed down and all the solid stone terracotta aisles and marble walls, all Aye. that will be stripped, cleaned, and glazed. Wonderful. And all the greenery, the trees will be placed in. Thank God willing, it will be time to dedicate and show our gratitude to God for his goodness. Right. Amen. Right. It's a lot of work. It's a blessing that God is performing for the truth of God, not just here, but abroad. And I don't have words to express my gratitude to him. You know, when God says something, he's a God of his word. That's right. I trust everything he says. Oh, yeah. Yeah. If I doubt it, that's foolish on my part. Yeah. But I have to trust everything he says because he can't lie about nothing. That's true. God is not able to lie. Oh, that's beautiful within itself. That, that is, that is. Oh, yeah. Everybody else is able to be a liar. I said everybody. Did you hear me? Everybody is able to lie. I don't care how long you've been saved. <laughs> Only one that's in Possible. In which it was impossible. Do you hear this? In Hebrews chapter 6 and verse 18. Says what? In which it was in impossible. Which it was impossible. For God to lie. For God to lie. That's right. So if God says something, it's going to be like God said. Now, he also exercised his personal right. Change his mind. Okay. I want to say, well, how can God change his mind? He said, I'm a God that changed not. You don't understand that. No. So don't quote it. <laughs> That's right. Imagine you throwing Bible at God. That's what the devil did. That's right. He threw Bible at the Son of God. 
Then the Son of God came and put the Bible in the right place. And whenever God said something, if you can change your mind, what makes you think it's impossible for God to change his? Right. Is that Bible? Why, certainly. Certainly. God ordained that he would destroy Nineveh, didn't he? Yeah. That's right. Change his mind when Nineveh went down in sackcloth and in ashes. That's right. Fasting and praying. Changed his mind because what they done came up towards God. And God saw their works. Listen. In Jonah chapter 3 and verse 10. God saw their work. That they turned from their evil way. That they, wait a minute. What turned God? They turned from their evil the way. The thing that turned God was because the people, they turned. God saw their works. God saw their works that they turned they changed from their evil way from their evil way and god repented of the evil and Amen. god repented god repented in other words changed his mind that's right he repented of the evil that he had said that, that he would do he unto them he said he will do to them and he did it not <laughs> amen so if there's anything Hallelujah. That God got in mind to come your direction that you don't know nothing about. Yeah. In a form of punishment, I advise you. Change your ways. That's right. So God can change his mind. That's right. Are you getting it? Amen. All right, before going any further. <laughs> Let me give these baptism out the way, and then God willing, the Holy Ghost will soak you a little. Oh, yeah. All right, this is one week's report 14 in headquarters, two in Bronx, New York, three in Pine Bush, New York, three in New Brunswick, New Jersey, eight in Baltimore, two in Rocky Mount, North Carolina, one in Charlotte. Four in Raleigh, one in Charleston, nine in Atlanta, seven in Memphis, two in Portland, five in Detroit, one in Flint, Michigan, two in Wisconsin, two in Lafayette, Louisiana, two in Monroe, Louisiana, 18 in Las Vegas, Nevada, 26 in Arizona, five in Los Angeles, six in Houston, 14 in Richardson, Texas, international baptisms one in uh, nova scotia canada one in dubai one in Botswana, one in Sierra Leone, west africa two in johannesburg seven in cape town south africa one in the netherlands one in townsville australia one in perth australia 153 souls in one week hey! As I said before, <clears throat> so say I now again. Nobody have what it take, get me, ever, to stop what God started. Nobody. Have God purpose, it is stand. Whatever God's agenda is, we have to fall in line with God's agenda. As the message was last week, don't tamper with God's agenda. Now I want to talk about how to receive the Holy Ghost. Amen. Get me. How to receive it. That's right. How do you seek it? What are the things, plural, that God told us to do so we can receive it? That's right. Never let it come out of your mouth. Well, if it's God will that he filled me, fine. If not, fine. 
That's foolish talk. That's right. It is God's will that you receive it, for he declared. For the promise is unto you. Glory to God. In Acts chapter 2 and verse 39. The promise is unto you. And who else? And to your children. How bad do he want you to have it? And to all that are far off. Even as many. As the Lord our God shall call. And the Bible says Hallelujah. the Lord have spoken. And Hallelujah. has called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. Hallelujah. I want Jamaica to hear this. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Uh, because of error. Hallelujah. Was taught from one of the truth of God ministers. Had a long discussion with him. And then talking with him, he said, well, I'm not saying I got this from God, but this was pressing me, pressing me for a good time. And I put it out there. Right then, your error. That's right. I want everybody to hear me because this is why you need an apostle. You got to have one. That's right. Pastor Paul said, I set all things in order when I come. That's right. This book is not ordinary, it's extraordinary. Amen. There's a lot of mysteries in here. And there are things in the scriptures that is not necessarily in chronologically in order. Right. You can take one verse and the sentence can be talking about the past. The next sentence can talk about the present and the next sentence can talk about future. Yeah. Right. Literally in one verse. Yeah. Sometimes the Bible talks in symbolic terms. Like in the book of Revelation, talk about the great whore yeah. and how the kings drank from the cup of a fornication. Whoever heard of fornication in the cup? That's right. Mm -hmm. Now, now do you get me? Symbolic. The brother read the scripture that I'm going to dive into. And he erred. First error was taking matter in your own hands to put out something. Right then you were disobedient to what God instructed. Because God says, lean not to thine own understanding. And when God don't move on you to put something out and you put it out, that's biblical transgression. That's right. None of the prophets, yeah, yeah, yeah. None of the apostles spoke by their own permission. That's right. This is why God have it in the scriptures. The prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. You see, when you put something out based upon your feeling, you transgress. Knowing this first. Because that's your own will. That's right. And God said he wants you to know something first. First. Second Peter. Before you react. That's right. God wants you to know this first. Knowing this first. On all you ministers. I don't care how much you feel as though God is using you. <laughs> that's right. I don't care how many voices you hear. That's right. This book guides the church. That's right. The contents of this book Amen. guides the church. That's right. The contents of this book governs the body, just like your brain. Governs the function of your physical body. God is the brain of the church. That's right. Hear me good. Go ahead, brother. And the eternal, everlasting mind of God that's flawless uh -huh. has spoken. That's right. And he has put some of his thoughts in book form. That's right. The Bible is not all of God's thoughts because the Bible is too small. Amen. 
There are secret things that belong to God. To God. And there are many things in the Bible that still have to be opened up. That's right. Still have to be explained. Still have to be interpreted and broken down. That's right. Because the Bible is full of mysteries. mysteries. All of them. That's right. God revealed the contents of Scripture not all at once. No. Because it's too heavy, too much, too deep, too broad. That's right. So he do it line upon line. Line upon line, line upon line, precept upon precept. That's right. Here a little. There a little. There a little. So in talking to the brother, he read the scripture in the book of Acts. About tarry until you be endued with power from on high. Part of that scripture offset them. Let's read this, and I want to itemize how to receive the Holy Ghost. In the book of Acts, chapter I want everybody five. to follow me in Jamaica. I want you to hear this. That's right. Don't run ahead of the Bible. Don't run ahead of the Bible because there are people's souls at stake now. This is why we encourage you, ministers, like Paul did. Follow me. As I follow Christ, and then I won't have to clean up mess. That's order. That's God's order, not mine. That's right. Hear this. Acts chapter 5, we're at verse 32. All right. And we are his witnesses of these things. Now, let me educate you. You know, if God starts dealing with you even a little bit, you've got to be careful. Because just as God started dealing with you, man or woman, the devil's there too. Yeah. And believe it or not, when God is dealing with you, you may not realize it. If God starts dealing with you in a way you never experienced, let me educate you. Yeah. There's some spiritual vulnerability there. That's right. Oh, I'm saying what? When the caterpillar goes in the cocoon, uh -huh. yeah, man. God starts dealing with it. That's right. And he transforms it. And when it come out the cocoon, a butterfly, that butterfly is vulnerable because of the moisture of its wings. That's, right. That's why it fly to a branch or a leaf and sit. And fan its wings to get rid of the moisture and to enhance the circulation of blood. Yet, God is dealing with it. That's right. But it's vulnerable in that state to be attacked by other predators. That's right. When God is dealing with you, what are you vulnerable of? Right. Zeal. Zeal. That's right. Zeal can take you where you shouldn't go. That's right. It'll eat you up. In fact, the Bible says. The Bible says yeah. that. Zeal will eat you up. And a lot of time we are overzealous and can't see it. So God would allow something to happen. St. John chapter 2 and verse 17. So you can see yourself. And his disciples remembered. Yeah, that's what I want you to do. That's right. Yeah. Glory to God, remember. And his disciples and his remembered. his followers remember. That it was written. It was written. The zeal of thine house. That, wait a minute. Not the zeal of the Lord of hosts shall perform it. The zeal of thine house. But the zeal of your house. Hath eaten me up. The zeal of your house is broader than the zeal of your residence. Yeah. That's right. The zeal of your house is the zeal of your body. The zeal of your body is the zeal of your temple. The zeal of your temple is the zeal of your earthly tabernacle. That's right. Anytime you admit that it's not from God, but something is pressing you and you go out and say it anyway, you're overzealous. Overzealous. Come on back because you wasn't authorized not by God, and you wasn't authorized by God's ambassador. That's right. 
God ain't never made nobody do that opposite from the book. No. If there are officers in the book, that book protocol. That's right. Who implemented it. God put it in place. Not Pastor Jennings. God, God did. God did. And if I got the fall in line, so do everybody else. That's right. Are you listening? Amen. Well, this is the scripture where he erred. Mm -hmm. And I say this to help him and to put those who are now confused back on track. Yeah. Right. This is why I've been preaching for years by God's permission. Do not get too close with no minister until your friendship with him, regardless of who he is, I don't care where they are, will cause you to believe when they are in error. That's right. When that thing detour from the doctrine of the apostles is wrong. That's right. Get me. That's right. I remember some years ago, he, I had to correct a minister that I had in Bronx. Uh -huh. We was in the gym. And he, the minister didn't like it. Uh -huh. and he didn't mind letting me know he didn't like it. <laughs> and some of the people in Bronx who got too close to him, they didn't like it. Mm. But I didn't care who don't like it. I'm not sent to be your friend at all. No. I'm sent to preach the word of God to keep you out of hell. That's right. That's my job. That's right. That's right. You know, God will allow things to happen to challenge your humility. Yes, he will. Oh, yeah. God will allow things to happen to challenge your humility and challenge your ability to submit to what God says. That's right. Uh, no minister should come to me, Pastor Jennings. This is the way I see it, because I'm telling you before anybody come, I don't care how anybody see nothing but God. That's right. How plain can I make it? I'm not sent to see things from your perspective. No way. I'm sent to see things from what already written. That's right. Before I was born. That's right. I'm the type of man I won't bite my tongue. I'm not interested in nobody's opinion when it comes to the Bible. That's right. If God said it, I believe it. That's it. First chapter of the book of Acts of the Apostles. Follow me. Acts chapter 1, and we'll start reading at verse 1. All right, Jamaica, I want you to get this. Acts chapter 1, we'll start at the very first verse. Follow me. The former treaties have I made, O Theophilus. Former treaties. Let us remember... Jesus, who was God manifested in the flesh, Amen. left us an example, example that we should follow his steps. That's right. That example wasn't just left for the apostles. No. That example was left for the church, for the church. to follow. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. He left an example to wash feet. Well, we got to wash feet. Gotta wash right. feet. He left an example of drinking wine one cup. Well, wine one cup. That's right. He left an example of how to pray. Well, we have to know how to pray. That's right. He left an example of how many to pray to. Well, that let us know we only pray to one. That's right. He left us an example. How should we be baptized? That let us know, well, we got to be baptized. Be baptized. He left an example by allowing the Holy Ghost or the Holy Spirit come upon him. Yeah. That let us know we got to allow it to come upon us yeah. and come in us. That's right. We have so many examples Example. to follow. That's right. And they wasn't left only to the apostles. For even hereunto were ye called. Hear this. In 1 Peter chapter 2 at verse 21. Even hereunto were ye called. Ye called. Because Christ also suffered for us. What? Christ also suffered us, for us. 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 That's 
right. What did he do? Leaving us an example. Whatever example Jesus left, what should we do about it? That ye should follow his steps. That got everybody. Right. That's right. Everybody. Everybody. You have to be able to harmonize scripture. Not just get Bible and go running. That's true. Bible says, he that believeth shall not make case. Again, that's another transgression. Yeah. You see, you may think you can you transgress one scripture, and if you're not careful, you may find yourself that one act transgress, transgress right. several scriptures. That's right. When you lean to your own understanding and run, you violate that scripture. That's right. That's why you got to be careful. Oh, yeah. All right, let's get first chapter of the book of Acts. Let's Acts, itemize this, and I want everybody to pay attention and hear me. Acts 1 and still at verse 1. Listen. The former treatise have I made of Theophilus. Of all, of that all, all that Jesus began both to do and teach. Began both to do and to teach. Until, until the day in until which he was taken up. Which he ascended. After that, he threw the Holy Ghost. After that, he threw the Holy Ghost and given or the eternal spirit. He gave orders unto the apostles whom, to the apostles whom, he, had chosen, whom he have selected. To whom also he showed himself to alive whom after his also passion. after, you know, he showed himself alive. In other words, after he rose, That's right. he came and appeared to them. That's right. He showed himself alive after his after passion. His passion. By after, many. Because of his love for them. That's right. Glory That's right. to God. That's right. And by many infallible proofs, by many infallible proofs, speaking, being of seen of them forty days, doing what? Being seen of being them, being seen of them forty days, forty days, and speaking of the things pertaining speaking to the kingdom of, of the God, things that pertain to God's kingdom. At verse four, listen, and being assembled together with here, them, here, here, and be, and being assembled being together with them, assembled, amen. Together with them, commanded them. Commanded, you know, when God lay a command, Hallelujah. you better not touch it. That's right. And if God commands something, you better not tell me I don't have to do it. <laughs> That's right. That's right. A commandment is an order. Amen. That comes from heaven. That's right. This command is not just to the apostles. No. I want to say I can't see that. Let's keep following me and get this. And being assembled together with them. Being assembled together with them. Commanded them. You got to remember the example that he left. He laid groundwork for the apostles, for the entire church to follow. That's right. The groundwork that he laid. That's right. Now, if you would say that this is just for the apostles. Yes, sir. About waiting. Waiting. Only. Only. Okay, then you got to. Consider everything must be just for the apostles. That's right. Feet washing. Who was there other than they? That's right. Drinking wine. Who was there other than they? Other than they. You can't pick out one thing and single that out. You can't. No. Listen. Get, I, get, 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 get this good. Still in Acts chapter 1 and verse 4. Being assembled together with them. Commanded, them, commanded them. That they should not depart from Jerusalem. Don't leave Jerusalem. But wait. Hold it. Tarry. Yes. Wait. Wait. For the promise of the Father. For the promise of the Father. Which saith he, ye have heard of me. You heard of me. For John truly baptized with water. John truly baptized. With water. With water. But ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. What? Not many days in. Do you hear this? Amen. That part offset him. Yeah. He, when he read that part, ye shall be baptized with the Holy Ghost. Not many days. Not many days hence. Hence. He felt as though that when they went to Jerusalem and they received the Holy Ghost, because the Lord said not many days hence, uh -huh. he said, well, we're preaching it wrong about Terry. Because they received the Holy Ghost not many days hence. Not many days hence. So what is it to wait for? Hmm. You wait because it's a command. Yeah. That's right. Commanded them that they should not depart from And it Jerusalem. was not just for the apostles because Jesus said, what I say to one. I say to all. I say to all. all. So everybody, if you're here. If you're here. Must wait. That's right. Now, when the Bible says not many days, not many days hence, 
We don't know how many days they waited. That's right. No, we don't. Because God many days. That's right. And our many days. Right. Are not the same. Second Peter chapter 3 and we're at verse 8. Hear this. Hear. Hear. I want everybody to hear me. Amen. When you say that you don't have to tarry. Mm. That is not the truth. That's error. That's yes. When he says just for the apostles, that's not the truth. That's error. That's error. That's right. Don't you know God get pleasure? That's right. Out of the human family waiting on him? That's right. That's right. I get, I get back to that. Get back to that. Show you how much joy God get out of <laughs> making us wait. That's right. What That's do you right. think is written for? The trying of your faith work patience. work patience. For me to have patience, I got to be waiting for something. That's right. And for me to have faith, what I'm waiting for, it takes time that challenge my faith to see what I keep believing in. That's right. Are you getting me? That's right. Do you hear this? Second Peter chapter 3 and we're at verse 8. What is it? But beloved, be not ignorant beloved, of this one thing. Don't be ignorant of this one thing. That one day. Uh-oh. Amen. You see, not many days hence. Not many All right. Days hence. I believe that. But that not many days hence don't have the same meaning for everybody. That's right. That's right. I give you a good example. That's right. Not many days. Not many days. Days is D-A-Y-S. Plural, correct? Correct. But everybody don't experience the many days. That's right. That's right. Some folks don't experience the many days. No. Some folks experience the same hour. Wow, Peter yet spake these words. Come on, Wow, Peter yet spake these words. The Holy the Ghost, Holy Ghost the Holy all Ghost. of them, which heard the word. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Wow, Peter was preaching. Wow, Peter yet spake these words. Wow, he's preaching. That's right. Hallelujah. We don't know how long he was up there. That's right. But I know wow, wow he was Peter. preaching. That's right. This is long after the statement, not many, not many D A Y S. That's hits. right. That's right. That don't apply. Everybody don't experience the days. That's true. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. While Peter had spake these words, the Holy Ghost fell on all them that heard the word. And they of the circumcision The Holy Ghost fell on them while he was preaching. Well, that's right. But yet, Jesus said, not many days. Not many days hence. So not many days hence is not narrow to the apostles. No. Not many days not hence many days simply hence. represent time. Right. That's all it represents. That's right. If you tarry. Tarry. And be obedient. Right. At the right time, the promise will be fulfilled. That's right. That's right. Not many, Not many days, days hence, hence can be many weeks for some. That's true. That's true. Many months for some. Go with right. God. It could be many years for some. That's right. I was saying what the Bible said, not many days. Not many Don't days. you know if you've been seeking the Lord for 10 years yeah. and if he fill you on that 10th year yeah. to him, that's just like one day. That one day is with the Lord. To you, it's 10 years. That's right. To him, you ain't been waiting 10 years to him. That's right. It's not 10 years to him. That's right. It's not 20 years to him. That's right. It's 20 years to you. Yeah. It's 10 years to you. Right. But to God, I'm the same yesterday That's right. and today and forevermore. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. 
To you is 20 years. That's right. To you is 10 years. To God, if he feel you right then. That's right. It's just as equal to all the years you've been down there. Right. But beloved, be not ignorant of this one thing. Don't you be ignorant of this one thing. Of this one thing. That one day is with the Lord. One day is with the Lord. As a thousand, as a years. thousand years. And a thousand years. And a thousand years. As one day. Is as one day. That's right. To us, a thousand years is a thousand years. Right. But not to God. Not to God. That's right. Hallelujah. So when he says not, not many, many days, days hence, hence, he's telling you if you wait and obey and do what I say, right. those many days hence mean soon. soon. Right. So I want to say, well, how is 20 years or 30 years soon? It's not soon to you. <laughs> right. That's right. But it's soon to God. One day is with the Lord as a thousand years. It's not soon to you. That's right. But it's soon to God. That's right. This is where he erred. Yeah. He wasn't able to see the deep things of God. Deep. That's why I say before, you've got to have an apostle. Because gotcha. God make known to him the deep things that you can't see. That's right. He said to me, well, I don't see nowhere where the apostles told the church to tarry. If the boss say do it. The boss say do it. Give me 1 Corinthians. Yeah. Let's see that the apostles preached it. That's right. Let's see how they heard the message and then how it was confirmed. Like one man told me years ago, I don't see nowhere where the apostles even use the term divorce. He said, I don't see that. He said, I see where Jesus said it, but I don't see where the apostles use the term. And I brought the scripture to him. 15th chapter, 1 Corinthians, son. First I Corinthians, delivered unto you, first of all. I have it right here, Pastor. Listen now. 1 Corinthians 15 at verse 1. Follow me. Moreover, brethren, I declare unto you the gospel which I have to you. What did Moreover. you mean? He preached it Moreover. over and over and over Moreover. and over. Want to be sure the church had it. That's right. Moreover, brethren. I declare unto you the gospel which I, I preached unto you. I declare unto you the gospel that I preached unto which you. Which also ye have received. That you received. And wherein ye stand. Where the same gospel that you receive and you're standing on. By which also you are you're saved. You're only saved. You only will be saved by what is declared and what you're standing on. On what terms? If ye keep in memory what I preached unto you. If you don't remember what is preached, you will go to hell even if you come to church all the time. Unless you have believed because in Because your vain. very faith will be in vain. That's right. Listen. For I delivered unto you first of all. Listen at this. First Corinthians 15 at verse 3. I delivered unto you, first of all, that which I that also received, which I obtained, how that Christ, how that died, Christ for died for our sins according, according to the scripture, and that he was buried, that he, that he rose again the third day, quick. according to the scripture, yes, and that he was seen of Cephas, then of the twelve. So he said, I delivered unto you, first, first of, of all, that which I also received. Then he come along and said it was confirmed unto us. Yeah. You know, it, the, the word was confirmed. Unto the apostles, because they was the one that heard him. That's right. In the book of Hebrews. Yes, Hebrews, beg your pardon. Let's get that quickly. Hebrews chapter 2 and at verse 3. Listen. How shall we escape if we neglect so great salvation? What happened? Which at the first. Wait, wait, wait. Amen. You can't put the apostles above the boss. No way. No way. That's right. You got to go. To the boss first. Which at the first. The one that laid the foundation for the church. That's right. Which at the first. Began to be spoken by the Lord. And the Lord says. Terry. Terry. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Whatever the Lord said first. first. It better be good enough for you. That's right. That's right. Don't you hear the Lord say to the apostles, he that heareth you, yes, hear, hear me. me. Yes. Amen. 
Hallelujah. You're hearing it from the first apostle. That's right. And the Lord Jesus was he. Which at the first, at the first began to be spoken by the Lord. They had the apostles know what to preach. And was confirmed unto us by, what? by them that heard him. So they preached way. That's right. Because it was confirmed. Everything they got from him. Everything. They preached. That's right. Not only everything they got from him, they preached. They done it. They done it. That's right. That's right. Eighth chapter. Amen. Another scripture that he brought to me. Mm -hmm. That when Samaritans heard the word, mm -hmm. the apostles came and laid hands on them. And they received the Holy Ghost. Right. He said they got baptized. They come lay hands, receive the Holy Ghost. That's mm -hmm. true. But this is something you overlook. That's right. Acts chapter ha, 8, ha, we'll ha. start at verse 12. Here, there was a tarrying process here. That's right. It wasn't instant like you read it. No. Why? It was two different locations. That's right. Yeah. The baptism took place in Samaria, right. but the apostles was in Jerusalem. That's right. Here, Acts chapter 8, we'll start at verse 12. Follow me and get this. But when they believed Philip, preaching when they the things, believe Philip, preaching the things preaching concerning the, things the kingdom of concerning God, concerning God's kingdom, and the name of Jesus Christ, and the name of Jesus Christ, they were baptized both men and women. Yeah. Then Simon himself believed also, and when that he old, was baptized, that old sorcerer, he believed he got baptized. He continued yeah. with Philip and wondered, and even hung around the evangelists, beholding the miracles and signs which were done. And signs that was done. Now, when the apostles which were at Jerusalem, all right. Now, when the apostles that was at Jerusalem heard that Samaria, heard that Samaria had received the word of God, had received the word of God, they sent unto them. They sent to them Peter and John. Then what? Who, when they will come down, prayed for them. Hold it. Yeah. When they will come down. We don't know whether it was two days later. That's right. right. Three weeks. That's right. Five months or three years. That's right. That's right. All we know was just when they came. When they will come down. Because they were not there when no. it happened. Right. Now, when the apostles. So there was a waiting process. From the time they were baptized to the time the apostles got there and laid hands. How long? Don't know. Don't know. How short? Don't know. What we do know, they came down. They came down. And they had to wait. That's right. The Bible speaks plain. He had fallen on none of them yet. 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 Yet, that's right. Holy Ghost didn't come yet. For as yet, for as yet, he was fallen upon he, none the of Holy them. Ghost didn't fall on none of them. Only they were baptized they in the only name had of the, the Lord baptism Jesus. Baptism of the name of the Lord Jesus. So if the apostle eventually got there. The Bible never said how long. Then laid they their hands on them. When when they got there, they laid hands on. Them. Then laid they. We their don't hands know how on long them. it took them to get there. That's yeah. right. We don't even know whether it was five years later. That's true. The Bible don't itemize it like that. No. It just tells us when they got there, they what they done. Down. That's right. That's true. You see the danger? Yeah. That's true. Yeah. That's right. Give me the book of Acts. Acts chapter 1, still at verse 4. No, give the Holy Ghost to those that obey him. Acts chapter 1. I want to itemize how to receive. Right. The Holy Ghost. So, brother, if you haven't correct that error, correct it. Whatever way you got up and spoken, whether it was on Zoom, I don't care how you done it, but go back and correct it That's the right. same way. That's right. And if you can't see it, then consider what I said. But <laughs> don't right. ever run ahead of the apostle. That's right. So we take God, God gave us the deep things. That's right. Don't go, don't go telling me what you see. Don't ever come tell me what you see. Because I'm going to see it deeper than you. Yes, you and will. And I'm going to see it broader than you. <laughs> That's right. Waiting give God pleasure. That's right. That's right. It's necessary for us to it's wait. Very necessary. That's right. The arrival of the Holy Ghost comes with waiting with waiting because waiting is part of the command that's right waiting 
and obedience. If preaching the Holy Ghost Wonderful. is only by telling you to wait, and that's it, you're incorrect on the subject. That's yeah. right. If preaching the Holy Ghost is saying you don't have to wait, you're not even dealing with the subject. No. Just like if I preach faith. If I preach faith, but don't preach works, that's right. it's an incomplete subject. Incomplete. That's right. Because the book says faith without works is what? Dead. Dead. Now, do you get me? That's right. You got to balance it. Yeah. yeah. Waiting, carry, and obedience right. brings together the promise. That's right. Now, he first commanded them to carry or carry. Wait, wait until you be in due with power from on high. That's right. That's the devil. <laughs> <laughs> and if you follow it, not many days Not hence. many days since. Now, they had to obey Jesus' instruction to the letter. That's right. In order to receive the promise. That's right. And let us remember the introduction of the instructions, he command them commanded them to do what? That they should not depart from Jerusalem. But what? But wait. Hold it. Let's back up and explain don't depart from Jerusalem. Jerusalem. So you don't nail that down that you have to actually go to the city. That's right. That's right. Your Jerusalem Wonderful. is wherever you seek the Lord. That's right. Not to depart from Jerusalem represent don't depart from whatever God told you to do. That's right. To obtain this promise. That's right. Notice what he says here. And being assembled together with them, commanded them. Hold it! Amen. Commanded them. When Jesus was assembled with his apostles. Amen. He wasn't just assembled with them. No. He was also assembled among them that you didn't see. That's right. How was he assembled? By promise. That's right. The promise is among the human family. Right. Them that is afar off, off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call right. all the world. That's right. That promise is assembled with them. That's right. I was there. Mm. Go ahead, brother. Go ahead, man. Dan the man was there. That's right. Minister Cole was there. You were there. That's right. Don't say, how was I there? I was in God's mind. That's right. If God says he know them, that are, that his. are his. Amen. Go right. to God. Amen. He knows them. Right. I don't physically have to be there. No. But I was in God's mind. That's right. I was in God's agenda. That's I right. was in God's purpose. I was in God's plan. The Lord has spoken. That's and right. I called the whole earth from the rising of the sun to the going down thereof. That's right. The apostles was simply an example. That's right. He laid an example and they was part of the example for all believers, all believers. were there. That's right. How were we there? Being a predestinated people. That's right. Foreknowledge. Predestinated. According to as he has chosen us 
In him. Before the foundation of the Before world. Before what? Before the foundation of the world. What did he purpose for us? That we should be holy. Don't tell me we wasn't there. That's right. That's right. What I'm, what I'm by God permission opening up now, of course, I know he couldn't see it. Yeah. None of this come to mind. Oh, no. No minister. No. Is to get a thought. And go running. That's right. When you do that, you sin. That's right. Because it's wrong. All unrighteousness is sin. That's right. Not only that, you threaten the soul yeah. of them that you're talking to. That's right. Because if somebody believed it and died, they died with the error. Right. And the Bible says, do not error. Do not error. Bible says, do not, not, do not error. error. That's right. Little children, I write this unto you. Yeah. Do, do not error. Not error. Do not error. That's right. You end what the Bible says. James chapter 1 at verse 16. Says what? Do not error. Do not error. My beloved brother. My beloved brethren. That's right. Do not error. Don't error. That's right. Don't follow your feeling to say nothing. That's right. Touching the Bible. That's right. Them are people's souls. People's souls is too good, too good. to bring your opinion. That's right. right. People's souls are too valuable to bring your opinion. Trust in the Lord with all thine heart. Trust in what? In the Lord with all thine heart. And what will he do? And lean not unto thine own understanding. When you broke that, you sin. That's right. Bible says, do not error. Do not error, my beloved brother. Do not error. Do not error. My beloved brother. That's right. do the church. That's right. Amen. That's why I don't get too close to nobody. That's right. That I won't pull your coattail. Williams and I is close. Oh, yeah. My father and I were close. Yeah. But if I if I pull my father coattail and took his jacket off, <laughs> Amen. you know what I do to you. Oh yes. I am responsible for the time wherein I live. That's right. I was sent to this generation. That's right. This is my time now. And God put me here. That's right. And it's hard work. Trying to save people. It's hard work. All it takes is one wrong message. The damn creation. That's and the reason why I'm so hard against it, it was one thing Adam did that got us in a predicament we're in. That's right. Bible says, by the sin of one man, in the, by the sin of one man, sin entered into, into the, world, the world. And death by sin. All these souls we labor to catch in Jamaica. Yeah. yeah. I can't have no error. No, no errors. Do not error, my beloved brother. It caused my confidence to waver, and I don't want it to waver. No. When I put a minister in the pulpit, I should have to look over my shoulder. That's right. That's true. I shouldn't be getting all these emails I'm getting. Yeah. Especially when people already don't want you up there. You don't yeah. give them a reason to write me to take you from up there. That's true. Well, you got people already gunning for you. They're already gunning for you. That's true. I don't preach based upon feelings. No, you don't. Anyone been around me know I'm a Bible believer. That's right. I'm going to tell you what the Bible said, and I really don't care. When I say I don't care how you feel, I mean it from the depth of my soul. <laughs> That's right. I'm not trying to please God and you. No. I'm striving to please God if I don't ever see you. That's right. God first. Are you listening? That's right. 
Give me the book of Acts of the Apostles. Acts chapter 5 and we're at verse 32. Everybody here and follow. Acts 5 and at verse 32. Listen good. And we are his witnesses of these things. We are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. So, yeah, so is the Holy Ghost. Whom God has given to them. Whom God has given to them. That obey him. Right. Now, let's balance that out. Amen. With the first chapter of Acts. Of Acts. Back in Acts chapter 1. And we're at verse 4. That's what? And being assembled together with them, commanded them. Hold it. Uh-huh. Hmm. He gave the Holy Ghost to those that, that do what? Obey him. And what was the first thing we got to obey? Commanded them that they okay. should Command. not depart. Command. Command. Commanded. Commanded. Commanded the first thing you got to obey. Commanded. That the commandment he's issuing. That's right. Not to depart. That don't they... leave. Mm -hmm. Don't quit. Don't knock off. Right. Be consistent. But wait for the promise. I of the order Father. you to be consistent. I order you right. not to give up. That's right. I order you not to give in. But wait. Wait yeah. for the promise of the Father. That's part of my commandment. That's right. My commandment be consistent and stay there, stay there. and wait. That's right. But there's other things that go to that commandment. Right. You got to believe. That's right. Why you got to believe? Because you're coming to God. That's right. And he that comes to God must, must believe. believe. Must believe. There's a whole lot a whole that lot. come under. He give the Holy Ghost to them that obey him. Yes. A whole lot. There's a whole lot that come under that lot. scripture. That's right. What did your Bible says there? Back in Acts 5 and verse 32. And we are as witnesses of these things. We are witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. What is it? Whom God has given to them. And what? That obey him. I want to say what Pastor Jennings, I received the Holy Ghost in the false church. There's things I was in was wrong, so I don't understand that. You only can obey what you know to do. Right. The reason why many of you don't have the Holy Ghost. And it goes for waiting for days and weeks and months and years. Yeah. You obey in one part, tarry, yeah. but you're disobedient to the other part that says obey him. Obey him. So this is how the Holy Ghost has been preached for years. Right. Tarry, 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 tarry. And you have narrowed tarry, tarrying down. Just the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. That's they right. say Lord Jesus so fast and almost said, Lord Jesus, 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 He gave the Holy Ghost to them that obey him. When you are in the realm of obeying what you know to do. Yeah. You see, before you receive the Holy Ghost, clean your slate first. How do you clean it? Repent, Repent. before you seek it. That's right. That's right. Repent, Repent. before you seek it. That's right. Why? He gave the Holy Ghost to, to them that obey him. That obey him. Obey him. So you got to clean your slate first That's right. by repentance. That's right. Wash me thoroughly. What? Wash me thoroughly. Do you hear this? In Psalm 51 and at verse 2. Wash me thoroughly. From my iniquity. From my sin. And cleanse me. Cleanse me. From my sin. From my sin. So when I receive the Holy Ghost, before I go in prayer mode, yeah. asking him for it, I'm first going to go in prayer mode to claim my slate so I can be worthy to receive it. That's right. How can I beg God? You promised me. You expecting something out of him, but he also expecting something out of you. That's right. Amen. 
He do what with the Holy Ghost? And we are his witnesses of these things. That's yes. Acts 5 and verse 32. And so is also the Holy Ghost. Now, so also is the Holy Ghost. Whom God hath given whom to them. Whom the Lord hath given to them. That obey him. That's why you don't have the Holy Ghost. Because somewhere in your life, you're being disobedient. That's right. That's right. That's right. If you're a child and you're being hard headed to your parents and won't honor them, you ain't going to receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. You can't be hugging and kissing with your boyfriend and girlfriend when the Lord says don't touch her. That's right. Because you're disobedient. Disobedient. That's right. You can't doubt God. Mm. Because if you do, that's disobedience. That's disobedience. So don't say what? Because he said, he that come to me must, must believe. believe. And must if you believe. say you must believe and you don't believe, you sin. That's right. Do you see how much is linked to obedience? That's right. So many of you got comfortable in your home. Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus. But you didn't obey. Oh, didn't obey. You in contact with that man that ain't your husband. You in contact with that woman that ain't your wife. Yeah. And then you're begging God for a gift that you ain't fit for. Oh God, thou knowest my foolishness. What? In Psalm 69 and verse 5. Psalm 69 and 5. Oh God. Oh God. Thou knowest. You know. My foolishness. Amen. I'm waiting. Amen. But what are you doing while you're waiting? That's right. Hallelujah. That's right. Are you keeping company with fornicators? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you wearing pants out there and dress in here? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you wearing pants out in here, brother, but shorts out in the street? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you gambling and playing the lottery on the side? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you FaceTiming half naked? Thou knowest my foolishness. Are you using some brother and using some sister and begging the Lord for the Holy Ghost? Thou knowest my foolishness. Do you know who the Holy Ghost is? That's right. The Holy Ghost is God. God. When you ask God, the Holy Ghost to come in you, you asking God, come in to me. That's right. That's right. When he see that, how obedient you are. Obedient. That's an alarm. Right. That rings a heavenly alarm. Yeah. It's time. That's right. For me to come down. She's obeying. Me. Hallelujah. That man is obeying me. Hallelujah. That woman is obeying me. Hallelujah. I got them right where I want them. That's right. Hallelujah. Glory Hallelujah. Glory to God. Obedience. Hallelujah. This obedience has separated That's right. between you and your God. And your God. Obedience closed the separation. That's right. You're obedient, God get closer. God get closer. That's right. God get closer. Hallelujah. Glory. Glory to God. That's right. God, I say. Amen. God get closer. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory. Hallelujah. God, I said. And we are as witnesses of this. It's the holding something. And that thing is interfering with your obedience. Amen. Turn it loose. That's right. Let it go. That's right. No man can get sweet. And bit of water from the same fountain. 
That's right. You ministers? You ministers. Wonderful. Jamaica, you better not ever tell nobody you ain't got to tarry. That's right. It's a commandment. That's right. You better repent, better repent. and do your first works over. Amen. I'm tarrying now. That's right. I'm waiting on a whole lot from God now. That's right. They that wait, wait upon the Lord. Upon the Lord. Yeah. They shall renew their strength. They shall, renew their strength. They shall melt up. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. God get glory. That's right. Out of looking at us wait. That's right. You know how many times the prophet talk about how they waited? I had fainted. Go ahead, John. Let us remember the apostles didn't have no New Testament to preach from. Right. They just had the words of Jesus and the prophets. That's right. Waiting goes back to the old days. That's Psalms 27 at verse 13. Listen at David. I had fainted. Unless I had believed to see the goodness of the Lord in I the faith. land of the living. Lest I believe. That's right. To see God's goodness. Wait on the Lord. Hallelujah. It don't matter what it's for. No. God ain't say, wait on me for this, but don't wait on me. They ain't never said that. No, no. Say what God said. Wait on the Lord. Wait. Wait. Hold it. Hallelujah. Now, if you tell folk you don't have to tarry, and then you say you receive the Holy Ghost as a result of you tarrying, then you shouldn't have it. That's true. Because God ain't going to make an exception. No. For nobody. No, no. If tarrying is obsolete, then everyone that received it by waiting That's should right. not have it today. Should not have it. How is that? That's right. No, it's not being preached wrong. The boss commanded. And he commanded them. Waiting and obedience. And That's obedience. Right. What did David say? Back in Psalms 27 and verse 14. And then give me Isaiah. Amen. And then give me Ezekiel chapter 1. Amen. I want to mount up. Amen. Upon the wings of the eagle. That's right. And show you who is the eagle. Right. Amen. And That's the right. reason why God is styled as an eagle. That's right. Hear this now. Psalms 27 and verse 14. Follow me. Wait on the Lord. Uh -huh. You mean to tell me that's just for them back there? No that's way. just for a job, for a <laughs> wife, for a husband, for a better life, That's for right. healing. That's right. The Bible just simply says what? Wait on the Lord. Sometimes you got to wait on the Lord to make a way for you to be baptized. That's true. When I, when I was in Italy last month, uh -huh. there was a man got up and testified. He waited seven years for us to come to Italy Wonderful. just to be baptized. Wonderful. And he got baptized that day. And his testimony was he refused to go to any church since the day he heard this message without the Holy Ghost. He was tarrying for baptism. That's right. Waited. Waited. Seven years. Aye. Then another man got up in Italy and said, ah, he waited. Five years. My Lord. He said he begged God to bring us here to Bologna, Italy. And God brought us there last month. Amen. Tarry. Tarry. That's right. If Jesus left us an example that we should follow his steps, his steps. then that means we got to do what he does. He does. Jesus even tarried. That's right. In the book Somebody of say what? Give me John 3 22. In the book of St. John, chapter 3. Jesus even tarried. That's right. He went as far as tarrying with his disciples. That's right. St. John yeah, chapter 3. Yeah, yeah. 
St. John chapter 3 and at verse 22. That's what? After these things, After these things came, Jesus came Jesus and his disciples, and his disciples into, the land, into of the land of Judea. And there, and there he tarried with them. And, and what else? And baptized. There's no way in that Bible Amen. that makes tarrying obsolete no in way. no form. No whether way. it's for the Holy Ghost, whether it's for healing, whether it's for deliverance. That's right. Wait on the Lord. Back in Psalms 27 and verse 14. Yes. Wait on the Lord. Be of good courage. Wait a minute. Hmm. While I'm waiting, Amen. he advised me to be of good courage because the prophet know waiting can discourage you. That's right. That's right. Hey? That's right. That's why he didn't just say wait. No. But he also instructing us how to feel. Be of good courage. In other words, he's tapping into your emotions. That's right. Because you know your emotions are liable to go down. That's right. Why you wait? That's yeah. right. Amen. So what is God telling us through the prophet? Hang in there. Hang in there. While you're waiting, hang in there. That's right. And be obedient while you're hanging in there. That's right. What is this written for? Our learning. Our learning. Wait on the Lord. Be no, just go out there running. Wait on the Lord. When you don't do this, you're disobedient. That's right. That's right. Wait on the Lord. On the Lord. Be of good courage. Be of good courage. And he. And he. That same Lord. Shall strengthen thine heart. Why? Wait. Because your heart becomes faint. Your heart becomes emotionally tired. Your heart becomes exhausted because you're waiting and you seem like you've been waiting long. But if God answered you 50 years later, it ain't 50 years to him. No. Long to you. That's right. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear this. Wait on the Lord, be of good courage. And what? And he shall strengthen thine heart. What else? Wait, I say. Wait, I say. On the Lord. On the Lord. And in Psalms 37 and at verse 7. Tell you what? Rest in the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Do you hear all this Bible? This is what I mean by ready divide the word of truth. It says rest. Rest in the Lord. In the Lord. And wait. Hallelujah. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! Right here. That, that's just as good now as it was when it was written. Hallelujah! Because God is tapping to the emotions of the people. That's right. The people' emotions today is the same as they were yesterday. That's right. Everybody get weary for waiting. That's right. Hallelujah. One scripture talk about don't get weary and don't faint in your mind. Faint in your mind. Did you hear this? Rest in the Lord. Rest in the Lord. And wait patiently for him. Wait. Wait a minute. How should we wait? Patiently. Patiently. For him. For him. Because he know we get impatient. That's right. And these are scriptures that must be obeyed regardless of what you're seeking. That's right. He give the Holy Ghost. To them that obey him. To them. That obey him. So there's other scriptures. Other scriptures. Guidelines. Uh -huh. That are required. That we got to obey. That's right. So the promise. Can come into you. That's right. You ain't going to receive the Holy Ghost. And you disobeying the leadership. No way. You ain't going to receive the Holy Ghost and you hard head and stuff. Whatever God says and you refuse to. Oh, well, Pastor Jim, I'm struggling with it. Then that's between you and God. But I know the Bible says in the book of Acts. Back in Acts 5 and verse 32. And we are as witnesses of these things. Your struggle will hinder you from receiving the Holy Ghost because you're going to be indulging and stopping. Indulging and stopping. So while you're obeying, God is getting closer. But the moment yeah. you have that setback, that stops. You had that setback, he stopped. My Lord. You had that setback, he stopped. 
And the more you indulge, the more a gap formed between you and God. That's right. For he said your sins are separated between you and God. Your yeah. sin and your iniquity have hid his face from you. Hid his face from you. That's right. The only thing that's going to make God face notice you mm. is your repentance yes. and starting all over. That's right. Hallelujah. All right, listen. And we are his witnesses of these things. We are here. Hear this. Back in Acts 5 and verse 32. We are the witnesses of these things. And these so things. is also the Holy Ghost. So also the Holy Ghost. Whom God has given to them that obey him. None of you ministers better not go out there talking about you ain't got the tarry. None of you. That's right. It's a commandment. That's right. The Bible said all things must be fulfilled that are written in the law of Moses and in the prophets yes. and in the Psalms concerning, concerning me. The prophets and the Psalms and Moses preached about weight. That's right. And then Paul come along and said, I told you no other thing. Wonderful. But what Moses and the prophets the said should come. That's right. And it's here now. That's right. Amen. I was waiting for the Holy Ghost. Uh -huh. And was doing wrong simultaneously. Wow. The moment I became obedient to what I knew, I received the Holy Ghost. That's something. And like I often give you the story about me and my wife when we were younger before we got married. I had the Holy Ghost. She didn't. But I knew I was in her way. I knew it. I ain't wanted to get out of her way. <laughs> no, I ain't wanted to get out of her oh, way. No. I enjoy going seeing her. Yes. And she greet me with a hug. <laughs> glory to God, glory to God. Amen. Yeah. Amen. I enjoy. Yeah. Amen. So it's like, hit me at the door. I was like a little kid in the candy store. I came in. I couldn't wait to be hugged. She hugged me. In my mind, don't go, go, don't go, go make it no space between me and you. <laughs> Sometimes she'll hug me, you know, like a mother do, uh, like a mother do a son, you know, try, trying to do it right. Trying try to do it right. You know, hug me, leaning. I was like, uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Don't go hugging me, bending over. I'm, you way over there, I'm way over here. Oh, no. Here, here I come, the long arm of the law. <laughs> That's right. And she'd be like, do you know what you're doing? I'd be like, hush your mouth. <laughs> huh? yeah. Oh, Lord. But I knew I was in her way. Regardless of what else she was obeying, all that was disobedience. Mm. Her and I sat and talked, cut off communication, fast prayed, and done it right. What? She received the Holy Ghost. Wonderful. And now you got the task. Now you got the task after you receive it is to remain obedient so you don't lose it. That's right. So, look at the things you have to obey if you're doing right. that you got to stop doing because these are blockages. Yeah. Fifth chapter of the book of Galatia. Galatians. I believe about uh, verse 18 starts there. Everybody all right? Oh, yeah. Are you getting this? Oh, yeah. Galatians chapter 5, we'll start at verse 18. Listen. But if you be led of the Spirit, you are not under the law. If you be led of the Spirit, you're not under the law. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. Uh-oh. Amen. What? Adultery. If you're doing any of that, and you seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost, you ain't going to get none. No. You're not going to do it. No, no. Listen. Fornication. 
and go back to Acts. What, what, if you read each one of that, right. go back to Acts. What he say? How he give the Holy Ghost? Right. Get listen. Back to uh, read Acts first. Acts five and at verse thirty-two. That's what. And we are as witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God hath given to them that obey Him. And what did Galatians say? Now Galatians five and verse nineteen. That's what. Now the works of the flesh are manifest, which are these. What? Adultery. Wait a minute. You're seeking the Holy Ghost and you're committing that? Mm -hmm. You're not going to do what Acts said. What did Acts say? Whom God has given, and we are his witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey him. So if you're doing that, committing adultery, adultery. and seeking the Holy Ghost, you're not obeying them. No. What else? Fornication. Oh, and what did he say? And we are witnesses of these things, and so is also the Holy Ghost. Whom God has given to them that obey him. That goes forth. You're fornicating in your mind, fornicating in your heart, fornicating with that boy, fornicating with that girl. You will not receive the Holy Ghost as long as you keep fornicating fornication. because you're not obeying him. That's right. What else? Uncleanness. Oh, if you're unclean. And we are with and, uh, That don't mean if you don't take a bath. <laughs> oh, no. no. Oh, mind no. unclean, heart unclean, deeds unclean. Uncleanness. What kind of uncleanness? It doesn't matter what it is. Right. Anything that will keep you from receiving the Holy Ghost, fall under that unclean, unclean. you won't receive it over it. Mm. You got to change That's right. like Nineveh did. Yeah. That's right. Yeah. Back in Acts 5, verse 32, and we are witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost, whom God has given to them that obey What's him. next? Lasciviousness. Extreme lust. Mm. Extreme lust. Lasciviousness. What else did Galatians say? Idolatry. Wait a minute. Mm. You got, when you're full of idolatry, you're bowing to what you should not bow, and you're serving what you should not serve, That's and right. that honor shall only be to God. That's right. Whether it's money, That's true. whether it's some man, whether it's some woman, That's whether it's job. Yeah. Mm. Hear this. Witchcraft. Going to the palm reader. Yeah. The terror flipping the cards with Sister Troy and Sister Lena. That's right. <laughs> That's right. Playing with Ouija boards. Yeah. Witchcraft. Then say the Lord legend. Hell legend. That's right. You ain't receiving no Holy Ghost, you old witchcraft worker. No. Witchcraft. Another form of witchcraft is being disobedient. Back for rebellion, give me the book of Samuel. First Samuel chapter 15 at verse 23. Listen, for you that don't know what a Ouija board is, never touched it, never know nothing about black magic, but here's another form of witchcraft. First Samuel 15 at verse 23. That's what? For rebellion. What? For rebellion. Hardheadness, stiff-neckedness. Is as the sin. It is as the sin. Of witchcraft. You're just the same as someone that's a wizard or a witch. <laughs> that's right. That's right. Hard head and rebellious, you're rebellious. just the same as someone as a wizard and a witch. That's why Simon the Sorcerer couldn't receive the Holy Ghost. That's right. That's true. Yet he got baptized. He got baptized. Yeah. But he didn't receive the Holy Ghost. No. Oh no. You know why? His heart didn't change. No. He was fascinated with the power of the Holy Ghost. That's right. He comes to the apostles, give me also this power. He, he even offered money. Offered the money. Whosoever, whosoever I lay hands on, they have it. Brother Peter tied into him. Yes, he did. That lets you know that everybody get, get baptized, heart don't change. That's true. That's true. That's true. Huh? That's right. Everybody heart, everybody get baptized, their heart ain't changing. Yeah. They ain't got no repentance, no nothing. No nothing. You do good if the man dried off good. <laughs> Let me buy that Holy Ghost. That's right. My Lord. Are you listening to the old man? Oh, yeah. Amen. I hope you're getting this knowledge, Jamaica. Get yeah. this. Galatians 5, now at verse 20. Say what? Witchcraft. Witchcraft. Hatred. What? Hatred. You got hatred in you? Mm. You got hatred in you? Hatred. Oh, I can just hate him. I can just hate her. You're on your way to hell. Even way. if you got the Holy Ghost. That's right. Because the Lord says love your enemy. That's right. And if you hate your brother, you hate your sister, you hate God. You hate God. That's true. You don't love your brother and sister who you see? How can you say you love God whom you don't yeah, see? That's right. Let's get that quickly. First John chapter 4 and at verse 20. Follow me. First John 4 and verse 20. Yes. If a man say, I love God. Hallelujah. 
Amen. The man said, oh, I love God. And hateth his brother. And you hate your brother? He is a liar. That's right. I don't care how much anointing you have. If you speak in tongue more than all the churches of the state of Wyoming. Amen. If God said this, I believe this. I believe this. I, believe this. I don't believe you. I believe this. That's right. If a man, God said, if a man say I love God, man say I love God, and hate his I brother, hate my brother. He is a liar. You don't love God, for he say, that, God, God take it personal. That's right. Because he said, "What you do to my least one, you do unto me." Any ill you got towards your brother and sister, God makes it personal that you got it to him. That's right. He ain't gonna let you off the hook either. No. I don't care who you are. Glory to God. It doesn't matter. That's right. You ain't getting off the hook. No. That's why some of your prayers ain't answered because you got ill feeling towards your brother and sister and you too dumb to realize you're praying to God and you got the same feelings to him. Yes. That's right. God. I can't stand her. You can't stand God. Stand God. But I don't see it like that. Who cares about your little puny vision? Amen. The Lord said what you do to my least ones you do. And as much as you have done it unto one of the least of these. this in the book of Matthew. St. Matthew 25 and at verse 40. And as much. And the king shall answer. The king shall answer. And say unto them. Brother, when the king talk, you better listen. That's right. What is it? And the king shall answer and say unto them. Verily I say unto you. Are you guilty? Hmm. You that are here, you that are listening. Are you guilty? Guilty. And to as much. For verily I say unto you, in as much as you have done it you unto done one of it. the least of these, my brethren. Least of my brethren, ye have done it unto me. Yeah. You can shout all you want now. That's right. That's right. The way you feel about different ones in church is what's keeping your prayers from being answered. The way you have treated different ones in church is what's keeping your prayers from being answered. That's right. You have falsely accused people in church. I you assume. Your feeling or how it look. God ain't going by how something look. God go no. by what it is. That's right. And then when you harbor that grudge, your prayers ain't going nowhere. No. You can fall on your knees. You can fall out and fast. That's right. But you do. This scripture blocks a lot of us. Oh, yeah. Holy Ghost said. If a man say, I love God. That I love God. And hateth his brother. He is a liar. God don't recognize the love you say you got for. That's right. He labeled you as a liar. A liar. And what? For he that loveth not his brother. He that loveth not his brother. Whom he hath seen. Whom he see. How can he love God? How in the world can you love God? Whom he hath not seen. You don't see him? That's right. Brother, God got you locked in. And I this commandment. In. Wait, 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 wait. Do you hear this? First John 5. 4 and verse 21. Chapter and verse again. 1 John chapter 4 and verse 21. And what did the boss say? And this commandment. This. Here you got some more orders. Some more orders. This is a command. That's right. This commandment. Have we from him. We got this commandment from God. You know you ain't getting away from it. That yeah, he. Yeah, that, yeah. The him ain't talking about me. No, no. The him is talking about the Lord. That's yeah. right. What is the commandment we got from him, William? That he who loveth God. He that loved God. Love his brother also. It's not a request. No. Commandment. He ain't asking you. No, no. no. He's telling you, you got to do it or That's go right. to hell. Yes. That's right. You got to do it or go to hell. Amen. Well, I love from afar. Love bring you close. <laughs> love from afar. When love is real, Amen. love bring you together. That's right. When it's real, how would you like if God told you he'd love you from afar? My Lord. You can't <laughs> throw your little stipulation in there. No way. That's your mouth. That's right. You got to do it like the Bible. That's it. Or God don't honor it. Mm. And you say you're God's people, mm. your love got to be like the Bible. Like the Bible. That's right. Or God don't honor it. That's right. The mistake you made, you got love, so you said, but you integrate your feeling. Yeah. 
your idea, your thought. You are go to hell leading to your understanding. understanding. That's right. What did he say about the Holy Ghost? For back in Acts chapter 5 and verse 32. For God has given the Holy Ghost unto them that obey. Give me Isaiah, give me Ezekiel. Isaiah chapter 40. I want to itemize they that wait upon the Lord. Right. Show you what the eagle represents. I asked the brother, I said, they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. He said, I'm not talking about someone that needs something from the Lord. I'm talking about the initial receiving of the Holy Ghost. I said, so am I. I said, do you know what the scripture means? Mount up upon wings of the eagle. I said, do you know what the eagle is? He said, no, I can't say that I do. I said, I know you don't. That's why I asked. <laughs> don't you know the, the eagle is not only a who, it's a what? That's right. Glory to God. What did the prophet say? Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. Is it all right, Kev? Did you hear this? But they that wait upon the Lord. They that wait upon the Lord. Upon the Lord. Shall renew their strength. Got renewing again. You know why? Waiting is the trying of patience. It's the trying of faith. Waiting exhausts you. That's right. Waiting challenge your stamina. Oh, it yeah. challenged your sincerity. Yeah. It challenged how committed you are. That's why God designed waiting. Waiting. To challenge your sincerity. To challenge your stamina. To challenge your sincerity. To challenge whether you're going to quit or stop. Or stay there. That's why That's waiting right. is important. That's right. Challenge your endurance. The Bible says, he that endures to win. Unto the end. In order to endure, you got to wait. You got to wait. You got to wait. Our whole journey of walking with God hang on waiting and obedience. Yeah. You get tired of waiting, you will backslide. That's right. That's true. You get tired of waiting. And for deliverance, you're going to quit and take matters in your own hands. That's right. Waiting is a major component for the salvation of the human family. Oh, yes. Israel would not have waited. They would never came out of Egypt. That's true. That's true. We are waiting now for the coming of the Lord. That's, That's right. right. And we have to be obedient, obedient in order for our wait to pay off. Mm. That's right. We're waiting for the coming of the Lord. Yes. But to go back with him, you must obey. obey. Because now we're also waiting. Here, 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 here. Jamaica, let me give you a broader definition of waiting for the Holy Ghost. And that you feel or thought, and I hope you don't think that now, that tarrying is obsolete. Did you know we're waiting for the arrival of the Holy Ghost? For everybody. What do you mean? The Lord is the Holy Ghost. Right. The Lord himself, himself shall descend from heaven with the shout. That's the Holy Ghost. That's right. Coming back to resurrect the church. That's right. What we're doing. We got to wait. And we got to be obedient so we can go back with him. Yeah. While we wait. That's right. This is broader than speaking in tongues. Lord, Lord, Lord. You are waiting for him to come in you. And you are obedient so he can come in you. Yes. But now you're also waiting so he can come for you. Mm. Right. And you are obedient so he can come accept you. My Lord. Still waiting for the Holy Ghost. My Lord, my Lord. You didn't see that, did you? Mm. Glory to God. Still waiting. Still waiting. Yes. The Lord Himself. Yeah. That's the Holy Ghost. The Holy That's Ghost. God. That's right. Shall descend from heaven with the shout. I'm waiting for it. I'm waiting for that. But the voice of an archangel. I'm waiting for it. Yeah. But the trump of God. I'm waiting for That's it. Right. Dead in Christ shall rise and meet the Lord in the air. Well, in order for me to meet the Lord in the air while I'm tearing, while I'm waiting, I got to be obedient. Right. So I can defy the law of gravity. And when he said we'd be caught up, That's when right. he appeared, I want to fill myself. Yeah. 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 
I'm going. But I'm waiting and obedient. I have to wait and be obedient to receive the Holy Ghost. Now I've got to wait to be obedient to live in eternity with the Holy Ghost. That's right. Do you see this? Wonderful. I got to wait and be obedient to receive it. I got to wait to be obedient and to reign with it. Reign with it. That's why you need an apostle, Shade. Oh, yes. You need an apostle to tell you the broad concept of waiting. That's right. How are you getting what I'm telling you? Right. Oh, yeah. I'll never kick Terry out the Bible. No way. That's an invitation to go to hell. That's right. That's true. I challenge every prophet, Jesus, and the apostles. Oh, yeah. Follow instructions. That's it. So you can be safe and saved. Don't run head of the Bible. Don't run head of leadership. Follow. Follow. What you don't understand, don't touch. That's right. No minister is to go out and preach anything based upon feeling. That's no. right. When you do that, you sin. That's a sin. None of the prophets did it. Oh, no. None of the apostles did it. I ain't doing it. <laughs> no. My job is to protect your soul. That's right. Not destroy. All right, Isaiah and then the book of uh, Ezekiel. Isaiah chapter 40 and verse 31. Get me. But they that wait upon the Lord they shall renew their Hallelujah. strength. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Hallelujah. They that wait on the Lord shall renew their shall strength. Renew their strength. They shall mount up. They shall mount up with wings, with as, wings. as eagles. As eagles. They shall run and not run. be weary. They shall mount up. Mount up with wings. You ain't got no wings on you. That's right. That's right. Man, none of you in here got wings. If you do, please tell me how you got them and give me some. Hey! Let me take a trip. You can save quite a bit of money from flying everywhere. Put they me, shall mount up. Put me on your back. Put you on your, uh, <laughs> That's right. Can you imagine that? <laughs> Glory to God. Listen at this. Isaiah 40 and verse 31. Yes. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. Now, the reason why it is necessary for the strength to be renewed because weakness, uh -huh. tiredness, Frustration, uh -huh. sometimes even unbelief trickles in. Oh, yes. Because we're waiting. waiting. Right. Is that the truth? Okay. Amen. So, our strength need to be renewed. renewed. All those components that is sliding downward, we need that be elevated back up in us. Yeah. That's right. Listen. But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. What will happen? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. You're going to mount up. Yeah. You're going to be elevated. You're going to be exalted, brought up. Right. Amen. With wings as. As eagles. First chapter of the book of Ezekiel. Then I go back to Isaiah. In Ezekiel chapter 1, we'll start at verse 1. Now it came to pass in the 30th year, in the fourth month, and the fifth day of the month, as I was among the captives by the river of Chabar, that the heavens were opened and I saw visions. I saw yeah. visions, plural, of God. I had the first verse read so I can establish who he was looking at. Right. Yeah. Visions. 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 Not, not singular. Plural. Plural. Many visions of who? Of God. All right, verse 10, because my time is getting away. Start there. At verse 10, as for the likeness of their faces. Verse 9. Verse 9. Their wings were joined one to another. Right, listen, man, just go on and go to verse 2 and work my way down. There we go. That's right. There Ezekiel go. chapter 1 and at verse 2. Thank God, man, I might as well just rip it apart and take it all the way down. 
All right, come on. In the fifth day of the month, which, fifth day of the month. which was the fifth year of King Jehoiachin's captivity, yes. the word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest. Wait a minute. That's the only thing that should come to you. Yeah. That's the only thing that should come out of you. Right. The expressions of the word of the Lord, word of the Lord and never your opinion. That's right. I'm telling you, man, your opinion is dangerous. Oh, yeah. You may not realize how dangerous it is. Your opinion will send you to hell. That's right. And damn others. That's right. That's why I'm starch against opinion. Starch. Amen. I have no respect for nobody's opinion touching the Bible. That's nobody's. Right. How much nobody. plainer can I make it? I mean nobody. Nobody. Other than the Lord himself. That's right. Yeah. The word of the Lord came expressly unto Ezekiel the priest, the son of Buzai, in the land of the Chaldeans by the river Chabar. Yes. And the hand of the Lord was there upon him. The hand of the Lord, meaning the spirit of the Lord. That's right. The anointing of God was upon him there. And I looked, and behold, a whirlwind came out of the north. Vision. Visions of God. Of God. The spirit come on him. And the first appearance, here it comes. And I looked and behold, a whirlwind, come a whirlwind came out of the north. What you would call a twister. Yeah. Coming out of the north. A great cloud. A great cloud. And a fire, fire enfolding itself. It was enfolding itself. And a brightness was about it. A brightness was about it. And out of the midst thereof was the color of amber out of the midst of the fire. Yes. Also out of the midst thereof came the likeness of four living creatures. And the likeness of four living creatures. And this was their appearance. This is what they looked like. They had the likeness of a man. They had the likeness of a man, meaning that how you would, uh, how here you have Jesus, who was the son of God, would have favor with God. That's right. Uh -huh. And everyone had four faces. Everyone had four faces because Jesus death will affect the four corners of the earth and everyone had four wings and everyone had four wings showing how the spirit of god is designed to fill the earth and their feet were straight feet their feet were straight let you know that the ways of the lord are straight is not crooked and the sole of their feet and the sole of the feet was like the sole of a calf's foot like the sole of what of a calf's foot it was like a calf's foot because a calf would be a sacrifice they sparkled like the color of burnished bread they sparkle like the color of burnished bread because brass represents he's a deliverer yeah. And they had the hands of a man. They had what? They had the hands of a man. And let you know he come to save you. He come to rescue you. He had to come in flesh to do it. And they had the hands of a man. He had the hands of a man. Under their wings, on their four sides. Under their wings. On their four sides. The wings represent the spirit of God where it takes that beast. That's right. The hands was under the, under wings, the wings because the wings were superior to the hands. That's right. The hands was under the wings, and wherever the wings took it, that's where the hands went, because the body of flesh and blood was led by the spirit. That's right. Hallelujah. Hands couldn't do nothing on its own. It had to be under the wings. Under the wings. It had to be under the eagle. It had to be under the spirit of God. That's right. That's why the hands say, I do nothing of myself. That's right. But as my father the well in me, Hallelujah. he doeth the work. That's right. Hallelujah. I hope you can get this. Hallelujah. Come on, son. And they had the hands of a man under their wings under on their, their wings, four sides. On their four sides. And they four had their faces they and their four wings. They had their faces and their wings. Their wings were joined one to another. Joined what? Yeah. One to another. He just said, I am in the Father. Mm. And the Father's in me. Oh, they yeah. turned not. Oh, all joined one joined. to the other. That's right. All right. They turned not when they, they went. Turned not when they went. That lets you know God is just straight. That's right. There's no crooked in this journey. That's right. And he don't set up a crooked path. That's right. They turn not. Not when they went. When they went, there was no turning. That's right. Hallelujah. Right. Wherever they went, they didn't have to turn to That's do it. Right. Mm. They went, but didn't have to turn to do it. Wonderful. How can that be? God is everywhere. <laughs> That's right. God is everywhere. Hallelujah. Wherever he go, he ain't got the turn to do it. That's right. He's everywhere. That's right. He's already there. Already there. So rich God. Their wings were joined. Their wings were joined. Hallelujah. One to another. One to the other. They turned not they, when they went. They turned not when, when they, they went. went. They went everyone straight forward. You see that? Yeah. Everyone straight forward. As for the likeness of their faces. Here's what it looked like now. Ezekiel 1 and verse 10. Be quick. As for the likeness of their faces. What is it? 
They fore at the face of a man. Face of a man, the face of a man, how he come along and have favor with God. He Jesus, the Bible says about Jesus that he had favor with God and with man. And, and you see that, that that man was chosen. That's right. That man, he was a true vine. And he said, My father's the husband man. That's right. He, he was chosen, he was a chosen vessel. That's why he was born out in due time. Mm. It is written, even so he was chosen in bondage under the elements of the world when the fullness of time was come stopped. God sent forth the son made of a woman, made under the law, so redeemed him that was under the law, that we may receive the adoption of sons. So here comes the man, Christ Jesus, and the man of him was the mediator. The man of him was designed to redeem. The man of him was the sacrifice. The man of him was designed of God to be offered up for yeah. us. Hallelujah. The man of him. That's right. The flesh of him. That's right. All right. As for the likeness of their faces. As for the likeness of their faces. They four at the face of a man. Four. They yeah. four. They four. They four had the face of a man. Son of God walked this earth, it would affect the four corners of the earth. That's right. Uh -huh. They four had the face of a man. They four had the face of a man. And the face of a lion. Still talking about the four directions. That's right. yeah. And the face of what? And the face of a lion on the right side. The lion is the power of God that was in that flesh. The lion was the authority of God that was in that flesh. You know, a lion is greater than a lamb. That's right. And the lion was in that lamb. That's right. That's why when the lamb came to the tomb of Lazarus, the lamb said, Move the stone. The lion said, Lazarus, come forth. The lion is the spirit of God. The lion is the power of God. The lion is the authority of God, where the lamb was just a sacrifice that God would offer. That's right. The lamb needed help from the lion. That's right. The lion got in the lamb, and you couldn't see the lion because the lamb wool kept it here. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Oh, it take God. Do you see what I'm telling you? And the face of a lion on the right face side. Face of a lion on the right side. And they four at the when face of talk a... about the lion, they just talking about the spirit of God. That's right. When they talk about the lamb, it's talking about the son of God. When they talk about the man, it's talking about the son of God. That's right. All right. And they four had the face of an ox on the left side. Ox means sacrifice. Sacrifice are offerings that wood is not, but our body has not prepared me. That's right. Ox represent the sacrifice. So the lamb, or rather the man, is flesh. Ox is pointing the flesh. Lion is pointing the spirit, and what else? They four also at the face of an eagle. Eagle. Amen. Come on. The eagle is pointing to the spirit of God. Yeah. Now listen at this. They four also had the face of an eagle. What else? That's where their faces. That's where their faces. And their wings were stretched upward. And their upward. wings were stretched upward. Two wings of every one were joined one, one to another. One to the other. And two covered their bodies. And what? And they went every one straight forward. Yeah. Whether the spirit was to go. Wait a minute. Hallelujah. Where the spirit was to go. They went. I... What I'm seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost. I want to mount up That's right. with wings as eagles. As eagles. As eagles. I want the spirit of God as an eagle. I want to mount up on him. That's right. But I have to obey him in order to mount up. That's right. So when I mount up, he can take me off in the spirit. Mm. Proof that I mounted up on him. The wind will be so great, it'll change my language. <laughs> Go ahead, the wind, the spirit gonna be so great, it's gonna change my language. The eagle represent God and the power of God. That's right. Mm. So now, now that I received this Holy Ghost, it will enhance my surviving ability. That's right. Isn't that what Isaiah tell us now? Back in Isaiah 40 and verse 31. What happened? But they that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. And what? They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. They shall run. Uh-oh. That don't mean I'm actually going to run. No. But what? And not be weary. That means my journey, my journey, my running mm. won't be in vain. That's right. I won't get weary because my hope is in the Lord. That's right. He's my strength. He's my rod and my staff and my staff you know running and make you tired naturally yes but if i get tired while i'm running spiritually i got a rod and a staff the comforter that can come help me when i can't do no more he can step in and help me that's right what else they shall run and not be weary and what and they shall walk, walk. and not faint let you know this journey you change pace uh -huh. mm. run cool. is one pace Walk another pace. But yet you're still moving. That's right. So if I walk mm. and what? And not faith. 
So I have to walk so I don't faint. That's right. That's right. Now the one that's walking, many times the same one that's running. Yeah. Because a lot of time running is my start off. Right. Walking is my end up. That's right. I start off running because I miscalculated the journey. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Yeah. I miscalculated the journey. That's right. Zeal make me run. Yeah. And the longer I run, the more my understanding come. I start running. That's right. Start walking. Start walking. <laughs> start taking my time now. That's it. Change pace. That's right. Still in the journey. Go ahead. Just learned a little better. That's right. Pastor Paul say, glory to God. Amen. Know ye not that they which run in the race run all. Run all. But one received the prize, so run. That you may obtain. You have to wait. Waiting and obedience. Yes. Teach you how to run right. Teach you how to walk right. That's right. Because in the midst of that obeying him so I can receive the Holy Ghost, I got to have faith. Yes. I got to be patient. Yep. I got to endure. Yeah. There's a long list. Yeah. Things I got to obey. That's yes. right. That I know. So that promise that I'm seeking, I can obtain it. And we are his witnesses so, of these things. You're standing in your own way. Yeah. Right. In other words, you're waiting for the Lord to fill you with the Holy Ghost. And the Lord is waiting for you to obey him. Are you getting me now? Amen. Lord, I take God, there's two things on the table. You're waiting for God to fill you, and he's waiting for you to obey him. That's right. Consider that. Yes, sir. And remember that. Remember that. Right. Wonderful, brother. Amen. You're waiting on God to fill you. He's waiting on you to obey him. That's right. Oh, he's ready to fill you because he said, Nigh thee. At thy mouth, at thy heart. He said, The words of faith of the apostle, which we preach. We preach. Tarrying is not enough. Faith is not enough. Right. Obedience. That's right. Brings all of that into one. That's right. If I wait, I'm obedient to that command. If I have faith, he ordered me to do it because I'm coming to him. That's yes. right. And I have to be patient while I wait. Yeah. I got a whole lot to obey. And there are things I got to stop doing and be making an effort to change. Close out with Chronicles. I believe 2 Chronicles. Chronicles. 714. Yeah. Second Chronicles chapter 7. Yeah, man. Get this. And at verse 14. Is everybody all right? Yeah. Oh, this oh, is yeah. this is plainly outlined. Oh, yes. This is what the Holy Ghost brought in. It's a good lesson. Amen. And not only for Jamaica, but for everybody. That's right. Don't run ahead of the Spirit. Follow leadership to the letter and the God of peace will be with you. That's right. I'm not interested in how nobody feels. No, no, I'm no. interested in rightly dividing the word of truth. Yeah. So error don't be preached. That's right. That's what I'm interested in. That's right. Hear this. Second Chronicles 7 and verse 14. You ought to thank God that God gave you someone that can explain the Bible. Amen. We don't have to be left in the dark. See how the Bible harmonized so beautifully. I mean, it harmonized beautifully. No complication there. Oh, no. Amen. Is it all right, Will? It's all right. It Pastor. is all right. Amen. Ah, it's, it's good. Amen. Listen at this. Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. What is it? If my people, which are called by my name. If my people. My people. Which are called by my name. Shall humble themselves. Now, here's the other stuff you got to obey. Yeah. God, ain't nobody going to receive the Holy Ghost who's arrogant and self-righteous. No you way. see, there's Old Testament and New Testament involved with receiving the Holy Ghost. That's yeah. right. Even though the Holy Ghost is in the New Testament, but it's also in the Old Testament. Yeah. yeah. I believe it's Ezra, if Estrus. I'm correct. Esther. You better read, find, yeah. get Esther. But let's finish up Chronicles while your other fingers do the walking. 
Second Chronicles chapter 7 and verse 14. Where his fingers be doing the walking. That's right. Hear this. If my people which are called by my name. Glory to God. Amen. If my people which are called by my name, what do he want his people to do? Shall humble themselves. You got to obey that. And pray. On the day of Pentecost, these all continued in prayer. That's right. And supplication with the women and Mary, the mother of Jesus, and with his brethren. That's right. Yeah. So they obey what Jesus told them to do. Yeah. Everything Jesus told them to do, they did it. They did it. That's right. They did it. From the command to wait, to stay in Jerusalem. Yeah. Stay there. Stay there. Yeah. Till you be in doing power from on high. Yeah. It'll be given to you. That's Not right. many days hence. That's right. If they would have disobeyed one thing, they would not obtain it. Yeah. Are you listening to me? Amen. All ministers, you cannot teach the people to receive the Holy Ghost just by tarrying on it. No. You must bring the complete message. That's right. Tarrying and obedience is the commandment right. of God to obtain the heavenly promise. And we are witnesses of these things. We are witnesses of these and things. And so is also the Holy so Ghost. Also the Holy Ghost. Whom God has whom given, God to them, given to them. That obey him. You can't say tarrying is out the Bible and yet you tarry to receive it. That's right. Yeah. How is it you got it? And all of a sudden it ain't for nobody else. <laughs> Amen. That's right. That's right. No, hey, God don't work like that, buddy. Oh, Amen. Amen. He said, I'm the same yeah. yesterday, yesterday and today and forevermore. And forever. He just promised it. That's right. Well, Father, then I don't see nowhere in the Bible where uh, anyone received the Holy Ghost waiting a long time. Really? Okay. That's right. I don't see nowhere in the Bible where anybody came out the water speaking in tongues. That's right. But I witnessed it here. That's right. But it happens. It happens. God just wants obedience. obedience. Yeah. It doesn't matter where you are. That's right. Don't limit God. And stop thinking like God, about God, the way you think about man. Right. God never put a stipulation on where you got to be and in what position. It just says, seek you the Lord. That's right. While he may be found. While he may be found. Call upon him while he's, while, he's near. Near. while he's near. Your position is irrelevant. The Pentecost, they were sitting. When I received the Holy Ghost, I was laying on the floor. I got tired of sitting. Yeah. Backside was hurting too bad. Sitting in them hard chairs in that false church. <laughs> they have cushions like you do. We just had hard like a hard tree to sit on. <laughs> Get splendors in your drawers, all in your britches. Yeah. Brother, I was seeking the Lord for the Holy Ghost. Got tired of sitting there. I got up and laid on the floor. I crossed my legs and put my hands behind my head. I kept crying out to God. Amen. My Bye. back, my back got tied on the floor. I got up, got on my knees. Knees got tired, sat back down. I went from knee, sit, lay. Knee, sit, lay. Lay, sit, knee. Knee, sit, lay. <laughs> I was all over the place. The position didn't matter. No. But we'll take God, but the Holy Ghost fell. Amen. Hallelujah to sweet Jesus. Amen. Real quick. Back in 2 Chronicles 7 and verse 14. What is it? If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. This is how you receive the Holy Ghost. Wait like he commands and obey. That's right. Wait like he commands and obey the instructions that you're being taught from God's word. That's right. The promise is unto you. He made the promise. Now it's up to you to present yourself so you can obtain the promise. That's right. right. So when you look at, I've been waiting five years, ten years. All right. My question to you, though, 
have you been obedient? Mm. Disobedience lengthens your wait. Yeah. Did you get me? Yeah. You're waiting on God to fill you. God is waiting on you to obey him. Right. Don't forget that. You're looking for God to fill you. God is waiting on you. Glory to God to obey him. That's right. Real quick, Williams. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. And what? And seek my face. You got to seek his face. And turn from their wicked ways. While I humble myself and while I'm seeking him, I got to remain in my wicked ways. And turn from their wicked no, ways. No, just seek him and, and, and pray over my wicked ways. And turn from their wicked ways. I told you. He's waiting for you to do something. That's, That's right. right. A lot of you seeking them, but you ain't turning from nothing. That's the problem. You're seeking without turning. Right. Yep. But yeah, you want God to turn to you. Mm. You want God to turn to you? You got to turn from your wicked ways. That's right. And if you turn from your wicked ways, you'll be turning towards him. Yeah. <laughs> Amen. Glory to God. Do you hear it? And seek my face and turn from their wicked ways. And then will I hear from heaven. Oh, glory. Then. He, he spells it out very plain. Yeah. Then will I hear from heaven. I hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. I forgive you for what you've done. And will heal their land. Heal is not necessarily narrowed down. Please let me enlarge in the word healing. Yeah. Because a lot of you think healing is just when you're sick. No. Healing simply means to deliver. That's right. When you've been delivered, you've been healed. Yeah. Many of us need emotional healing, mental healing, physical healing, spiritual healing. Right. What do you mean? You need mental deliverance, emotional deliverance, physical deliverance, spiritual deliverance. That's right. Deliverance and healing is the same thing. Yeah. Another word for it, to be rescued. Yeah. To be mentally rescued, emotionally rescued, physically rescued, and spiritually rescued. Right. Now do you get what I'm telling you? Wonderful. I have to make it plain. Yeah. Come on, Williams. If my people which are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray. Pray. And seek my face. Seek the face of God. And turn from their wicked ways. Turn from your wicked ways. Then, then will I hear from heaven. I will hear from heaven. And will forgive their sin. I'll forgive you for what you're doing. And will heal their land. And I'll rescue you. Now my eyes shall be open. Now. Now, now shall mine eyes shall my eyes now mine eyes shall be open. Now what? Not now mine eyes shall now be open. Now my eyes, mine eyes shall be open, and mine ears attend. My ears attend, attend unto the prayer that is made in this place. Amen. Wonderful. Yes. You want God eyes to come open? You want him to look at you and notice you? Yes. You want his ears? Yes. Do you hear what you're saying? Yes. Turn. Turn from their wicked ways. Remember, when you turn to him, you got to be turning, stopping what you're doing. And as you rotate, striving to pull off this, pull off that, pull off the other, he's right there waiting on you. That's right. To come lined up with him. It's wonderful. Not turn halfway and you're 45. Once you line up, line upon line, precept upon precept. Here a little, there a little. So remember, not many days hence can narrow that just down to days. One day to the Lord is as a thousand years, and a thousand years as one day to him. Regardless of how it is, he said the Lord is not slack. That's right. Concerning his promise. Not God. Not God. Oh, no. You're standing in your own way because of your disobedience. That is the reason why you don't have the Holy Ghost. There's something singular, some things, plural, that you're not obeying. The Bible speaks plain. And we are witnesses of these things. And so is also the Holy Ghost. Whom God has given to them that obey. Back to the him. first chapter. Back in Acts 1 and verse 4. Real quick so I can knock off. And being assembled together with them. What did he do? Commanded them. This is a command. That's right. 
But you can't whitewash Terry in a way. You can't whitewash, no, you can't that. whitewash that man. That's dangerous. Amen. That's an order. I commanded them. And it wasn't just to his apostles. That's right. Yeah, we did whatsoever thing is written for time is written for our our learning. Our if man. this is written for our learning, not just for the learning of the apostles. That's right. That's right. Whatsoever things are written for time is written for our learning. Our right? learning. That we through patience and comfort of the scriptures might have hope. So I have hope what? in what he told them to do. My hope is in tarrying. My hope That's is in obeying. My hope is in that command. That's right. Because it's written a four times. Four times. So I can learn what to do. Wonderful, wonderful. Yeah. You gonna whitewash Terry? No way. Follow the apostle that God gave you. That's it. And if you don't understand the Bible, let me open it up for you. That's right. Wait. <laughs> because God gonna guide me right. Okay. Yes, he is. Your feeling gonna guide you wrong. That's right. Wonderful, brother. Wonderful. Just wait. Yeah. That's it. We're getting a hairy. That's right. Wait. Wait. Don't ever come to me. This is the way I see it. You don't insult at the Bible. Yeah. That's true. Don't tell me the way you see it when I'm the one sent to teach you. That's right. That's right. I'm the one sent to teach you. Right. You don't find Timothy running to Paul. This is the way I see it. Paul is coming to Paul. This is the way I see it. Gay is coming to Paul. This is the way. No, ain't nobody do that to the apostles. No way. Right. No. 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 Not only did they know protocol, they respect protocol. That's right. You got to stay in your place. That's right. Do not come to me telling me the way you see anything. No. No. And then take off and run it. Yeah. Like I said last night, many times, me and Dan have talked. Dan, you know what? I was reading the scripture, scripture, such and such. And such. He's, and know what he always say? Before I put it out there, yeah. I want to make sure you and I are on the same page. That's right. That's right. He said, and, and, this, and this is what we have done for years. He said, my, under, my, I, my understanding, he said, I understand this. He said, but I want to make sure that you and I are on the same page. Mm -hmm. And he'll bring his understanding because it's critical. If the Bible says, now beseech you, brethren, by the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that you all speak the same thing, mm -hmm. it ain't none of us got the right to take matters in our own hands. Right. And these souls of the people are at stake? No! That's right. That's right. It's my job to rebuke and chastise. That's right. Your job is to fall in place. That's it. Don't insult me and tell me I hear what you're saying, but it ain't but. no buts. That's right. but. Fall in line or sit down. That's right. That's right. That's right. Fall in line or sit down. That's right. Yes. That's it. This is Bible order. Yes. Anyone been around me know I ain't playing when it comes to that Bible. Oh, no. no. Don't tamper with nobody's soul. That's right. Bible is a soul protector. That's right. If you don't know, wait. That's right. That's right. I did not be trying to reach you a long time. A whole lot of others. <laughs> I'd rather wait and get that scripture right and take off running. Yeah. That's right. All this laboring God blessing us to do yeah. to catch these souls. All oh, Satan wants is one lie to get there. That's it. That's what he wants. And then somebody died. Imagine someone died the next day that believed that. Mm. You know how quick that can happen? Yeah. Somebody died the next day that believed it. Or somebody jump up and say, I don't have to tarry. What? And the Lord commanded? Well, I ain't got to tarry. Or you don't? Mm. The whole island of Jamaica got to tarry. Yeah. Your government. That's right. Your prime minister. Everybody. That's right. In the world. That's right. Whatsoever things are written the full time and written for our learning. learning. We got to learn it and we got to practice it. Yeah. You got to tarry and obey. That's right. You ever whitewash God's commandment? That's right. The Bible said, I'll run in the way of thy commandments. Thou have enlarged my heart. Yeah. That's being overzealous. 
Oh, yes. Yeah, you, you, you got to slow down now. Yeah. If you couldn't see you was being overzealous, I'm telling you, as your leader, you're being overzealous. Yeah. Right. Slow down now. Right. Let this be a lesson. Slow down. You just done uh, a great wrong. You threatened people's souls. Yes. Slow down. Yes. Amen. I mean it. From this day forward, you better slow down. You can't reach me. Wait. That's right. It's critical that you wait. You yes. think God ain't God don't give you apostles for nothing? No way. It ain't some ham and egg office. No, no, no way. Oh no. no Wonderful, brother. It's an office designed for the furtherance of the church. That's right. Wonderful. You can't reach me when you want to. Wait. That's right. All these people we're leading everywhere. There's some folk. Been, I met with a sister. Uh, I think it was last week. He said, I've been waiting to talk to you for a few years now. I told her, stand in line. There's other ministers still waiting to get a hold of me. I'm only one person. Only one person. But I'd rather wait and then teach what I know. Because the Bible says this. They shall proceed no further. no further. And Jesus said, exact no more than what's commanded you. That's true. So when I chastise a rebuke a minister, there ain't no need for none of you ministers or none of you members try to pet him up. That's right. I don't care nothing about your pet. If I lay Williams out, ain't no need for Reese to try to pet him. That's right. Williams, you all right. It doesn't matter if he's all right. <laughs> That's care right. nothing whether he all right or not. <laughs> he got to take chastisement like everybody else. That's right. You other brothers and sisters can call him and whatever you like. He got to take his medicine like anybody else. Calling him don't make him right. He errant. It's wrong. That's right. I say this because I know church people. <laughs> you hear what Pastor Jenna said? How you feel about it? You got to obey it or go to hell. That's it. I'm not into the feelings of people. How you feel about it. Obey it or go to hell. That's why people say, he ain't loving. It doesn't matter how you think of me. First chapter of the book of Jeremiah. Amen. As patient as I am, if I was like the old bishop, that one mistake, he wouldn't even have a chance. That's true. Am I right, Dad? Yes, that's true. If I was, listen, I'm telling you the truth. If this would have happened under Bishop S.C. Johns, uh -huh. your first shot, first you go. Wow. Not only that, he would have called you a false prophet. Wow. You wouldn't have had a chance. Hmm. I remember a discussion between him and Elder Geis uh -huh. over the Son of God, his own minister. And I listen to that discussion in its entirety. And you can hear the sincerity in Elder Geist. Mm. And when Johnson was done with him, Johnson said, Johnson was so frustrated. He said, are you so silly? Are you so blind? Are you so full of the devil? He said, Geist, you're of the devil. <laughs> Wasn't for long, he disfellowshipped him. Wasn't long after that, Geist died. Wow. Guys died. I'm not a watchman for nothing. That's right. If you can't get to me, wait. That's right. That's right. Listen at this. Jeremiah 1, we'll start at verse 4. Then the word of the Lord came unto me, I saying. I had one of the members, I don't know who he was comment on the message and I was talking about none of my sons is ready to marry. Right. One of the members, I don't know who he was, commented, Pastor Jenna need to be more patient. You mm. ain't fit to talk to me about patience. That's right. 
No way. I'm more patient than you ever could be. <laughs> That's right. That's right. Very patient. That's right. Yes, you are. Am I, am I right, William? Oh, yeah. If I wasn't patient, I'd never come to church. That's right. Dealing with people. God had to put it in you to deal with people. That's right. I'd rather mind cattle. And I don't know how to mind cattle. I don't know how to mind cattle. But I know if a cattle got on my nerves, I just go to the shed, get a sawed-off shotgun, put some, put, put some hay. I'll put some hay on the end on it and go right to the cattle. Yeah. Wait till he put his mouth on it. Boom. What? And I'll walk away from the cattle. Can't do that with people. You got to labor, 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 labor. And sometimes they still won't listen. That's true. You know what it's like to show people the Bible? I know what the Bible says, but. But what? But what? That's shut your mouth and take what the Bible says. Yeah, there ain't right. no buts. Yeah. That's something. Try to shove your opinion on me and your thoughts and God spoke. That's right. Respect God and take your opinion and dump it. God, man, That's you make right. a comment like that towards the Bible. I know what the Bible says, but, but yeah. nothing. But. Take the Bible and always put it above how you think or feel. That's a, don't try to match emotions with God. That's right. Don't not tell folk. It doesn't matter what you think. You see that? He's so cold-blooded. He ain't loving. He ain't loving like the bishop I came from. Then go back to him. That's right. That's right. You love your bishop because you can get away with anything. Yeah. Here, I'm not seeking friends. Where these bishops seeking friends yeah. and accolade and honor. I'm seeking to be saved. Yeah. This is why I feel the way I do. Jeremiah. Jeremiah 1 and at verse 4. What is it? Then the word of the Lord came unto me, saying, Before I formed thee in the belly, I knew thee. Hmm. This is the ingredients of someone God sent. Before I formed you in the belly, I knew thee. And before thou camest forth out, came out of the, the womb, womb, I sanctified I thee. Aside. And I ordained thee a prophet and I unto the nations. You a messenger to the nation. Then said I, then Ah, said Lord, I, God. Lord God. Lord, I cannot I speak. speak because I'm a child. But the Lord said unto me, Say, Lord Not said, I am a child. Don't try to bring no excuse to me about you a child. For thou shalt go to thou all that I shall go send thee. All that I shall send and thee. And whatsoever I command thee, thou shalt speak. That's what's wrong with me. That's it. That's what's wrong with me. That's what got me to where I am. That's right. That's right. Amen. I'm not the same as I was 20 years ago. No. Or that God, I get worse all the time. That's right. That's right. God ordered it that way. Not the same. That's true. Hear this. Be not afraid of their faces. Oh, no. I ain't afraid of nobody. Nobody. And I mean nobody. That's right. You say that don't be afraid of what? Of their faces. The way some of you folk look at me? I ain't paying the way you look no mind. I wouldn't care if you look like Medusa, a wildebeest, a hyena, a cactus. I don't care. I've been preaching and preaching, and some folk got so mad they look right in my face. I've been preaching and had men and women put their middle finger up at me. Right in church. Wow. Uh, it doesn't phase me at all. Amen. That's right. I've been Amen. preaching the word of God and, and, and look out in the audience and you can read sometime what a person's lips were set. And I had, I had people right in their congregation. F you. And they made sure that I can make it plain what they said. They moved their lips very slow. My Lord. <laughs> Amen. My Lord. But the Holy Ghost has. Be not afraid of their faces. I don't bit more worry about your facial expression no more you than anything. I just don't. That's right. Because the commandment orders me not to. Be not afraid of their faces. That's why I tell you the followers. Don't you get too close to no minister. That's I don't right. care who he is. I've been preaching this for years. Don't do it. That's don't right. do it. You better get close to scripture. That's it. Be quick. Be not afraid of their faces, for I am with thee to deliver thee, said the Lord. What did God do? Then the Lord put forth his hand and touched my mouth. That's why we are blessed to dive into the scriptures and see the deep things of God. 
God put forth his hand and touched my mouth. And the Lord and said the unto Lord me, said, I Behold, have, I have put, I have my, put word my word in thy mouth. So I don't have to rely on my own feelings. Mm. What is that? See, I have this day set thee over the nation and over the kingdom. To do what? To root out. We got work to do. I got a lot of stuff to root that's out. Right, and that's yeah. an exhausting job. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I got to root out all that stuff out of anyone that believed it. That's right. You brothers are supposed to be helpers of us, right. not putting the burden on me. No. You're supposed to be helping us, not putting the burden on me. That's right. When you do this, it's a burden. Yeah. Because now people are going to believe it or then will be confused. Right. Like they are. Get this. See, I have this day set thee over the nations mm -hmm. and over the kingdoms to root out. Root out. And to pull down. Pull down. And to destroy. Destroy. And to throw down. Throw down. To build. Build. And to plant. And to plant. Thou therefore, gird up thy loins and arise. Get up. Amen. Gird up your loins. And arise. Acts 2.38. Acts 2.38. Then Peter said unto them, repent. Repent. This is what everybody must do. That's Repent right. and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ. You that are here, you think you're saved because you bow your head and raise your hands and join some false church and touch your television and yeah. thought Christ came through your flat screen in your arm and in your heart. <laughs> you're the flat screen center or a box television center. That's right. Anybody want to obey the Bible and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ? Stand on your feet if you want it. Glory to God. Glory to God. Wonderful. All of you that are standing, follow that brother right there. And all of you that is on this side, follow those sisters over there. Do you see the Lord's doing? The truth of God is the best thing. That is in the world today. Amen. It's the best thing. There's nothing that rivals it. But we'll take God, there's nothing better than it. Remember, don't only tarry, but you got to obey. Obey. You can't exclude one and look at the other. There's no more than you can exclude works. From faith. All right. Come on back. Hallelujah. Service will begin. God willing. Prayer will begin at 530. Now, I want to meet with my real estate secretary, Sister Gloucester, and Minister Lionel from the Pine Bush, New York Temple uh, at 4 o'clock. That's in 30 minutes. That give me time to get myself together. Let us all stand. Elder Dan Thompson will close us out in prayer. Heavenly Father, in the name of the Lord Jesus, we do thank you again, Lord God, for your loving kindnesses and your tender mercy that you've shown towards us. We thank you so much, Lord God, for your everlasting word. We pray, O oh God, you'll help us, O oh God, to be doers of the word and not hearers only. Bless all the souls everywhere, my God, throughout the entire world that hear the preaching, O oh God, of the one message of holiness. O oh God, that they'll just not hear it, but also be obedient to the same, that they may be saved, O oh God. For we know, Lord God, that the dead do not praise thee, neither them that go down in silence. But we will bless the name of the Lord from this time forth and forever. And all the people say, Amen. Tony Harvin. He loved this program. Thank God. He, he fills this program up on his website. Points the people to the truth of God.